Uh, what is my role in the, in the field of baromenology? I would say I'm like um, a little kid who's found a really cool place to play, and I'm trying to get all the other little kids to come play with me. Uh, I just feel like the, the area of the, the, the science of baromenology has really opened up a whole new world of understanding to me, both in terms of the history and the um, the history of biology, the the understanding of God's creation, the understanding of how I relate to God's creation, how I fit into God's creation, how God designs. It changed everything. And I just feel like I want to inspire a new generation to start thinking about um, really deep issues that generally we haven't much thought too too much about in the in the past. I just think there's so much that can be done, so much exciting research that can be done, that that people can do. It can be done. We can do these things, and that's what excites me. And so I would say my role, my specific role in, in baromenology, is sort of um, chief. Uh, enticer, chief instigator. I'm trying to get people excited about it. Uh, and so I've dived into various areas of, uh, that I've had limited experience with in my career, but uh, I've sort of expanded on environmentology to develop these, these new techniques and to try to come up with applications for that stuff and to show people how environmentology can really change the way we understand creation. I would say the biggest excitement um, right now, I'm just finished work on a big monograph, a big book, uh, listing out uh, as many created kinds as I could come up with. Um, and when I started out, we had about really definitive evidence on about nine created kinds. When I was done, we got 49. So we basically quintupled the number of created kinds. Uh, and the results have been really very surprising and very supportive of exactly what the Bible shows. Uh, the Bible tells us about the flood, about the recovery after the flood, uh, and things that are even a mystery to the sort of conventional evolutionary biology. Um, and that to me is even more exciting because I'm beginning to see the fruit now of baromenology is a, a distinguishing, a distinguishing uh, predictions and distinguishing characteristics that set it apart from both uh, sort of conventional species fixist creationism and at the same time set it apart from evolutionary biology. It's a whole different thing and it's pretty cool. I think that's really exciting. Why are you so passionate about studying kinds, biblical kinds? Yeah, why bother studying kinds? That's a good question. I'll t the way I like to think about it is, is thinking about design. Um, usually when we think about a design, we think about a thing that's designed for something. We think about a door, and that door is designed to seal off a room from another room, and we go in and out of the door, so it's got to have a hinge, and we got to open the door, so it's got to have some sort of thing we can grab on and open the door. And so the door is a very simple design. And then someone put a little peephole in it so we can look inside without someone knowing that we're looking. And then someone said, let's split the door in half so that you could have like a countertop. You could open up half the door and have a countertop. And so those kinds of designs, those are a much higher level sort of design. It's not just a single purpose design. It's a bigger design. It's a bigger kind of design. The way I like to illustrate it with my students is a Swiss Army knife. So a Swiss Army knife, when you think about a knife, you know, you got a knife and you can cut your meats or you can open your letters. There's lots of things you can do with a knife. But with a Swiss Army knife, you can do a lot more, right? You got a saw and so you can cut down that branch for whatever reason. You got a nail file, you can do your manicure. You got uh, all these other crazy tools that are all crammed into this little knife. And so a knife, a, just a plain knife, is a great design. No question about that, it's a great design. A Swiss Army knife, that's a whole different level of design. I mean, that's the kind of design that I see in biology. And so for me, studying baromenology and seeing how God's design has unfolded, like a Swiss Army knife opening up, 
that's an amazing thing. That changes, that takes design from just, hey, this little flagellum is designed and turns it into, hey, this, this whole cell is an amazingly intricate design that's all tied together. It's adaptable, it's changeable, it's designed to last, it's designed to